Hello viewers, hope you are keeping well in Christ Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall and rejoice, rejoice and, and be glad, glad in, in it. it. Hallelujah. Amen. This is Catherine Folution. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, I welcome, remember welcome. last time we had an episode of False Prophet. We did uh, episode 1, two, 2 and three. 3. And then we had a summary where they were saying that if we leave their canopy, canopy leave their, their grace, grace their umbrella. leave their umbrella, <laughs> that things will not work for us. <laughs> If we leave their grace, things will not work for us. But I thank God my husband is here with, yes. with us today so that yes. he will share a testimony yeah. on what God is speaking. That mm. what we are saying is not just things from things our head. From it's it's real experience and God experience. is confirming. Mm. Hallelujah. You're yeah, welcome. Man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Before I continue, I, I have a scripture here in the book of Colossians. I'm going to use this, my NLT. Uh, Colossians 2, 8 says, Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies. Mm -hmm. Empty philosophies. And high-sounding nonsense that come from human thinking mm -hmm. and from the spiritual powers of this world rather than from Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. So today is going to I want you guys to relax. Yes. It's going to be a big one, mm -hmm. a long video. That you see last time I said that the man, the last experience I had, mm. that man said that uh, if someone leave mm. uh, him Yes. At first, he want to put us under his uh, yes. spiritual jo covering. covering. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That was where the problem was. That make mm. me tell him never. I will never do it in your spiritual. I confronted him. Yeah, as I said in the other video, if yes. you go watch it, the uh, episode one, two, three. Yes. I will never do it in any man's under any man's a canopy or umbrella uh -huh. or grace or spiritual covering. That was what brought the, the misunderstanding with me and him. Yeah. But I have a evidence Hallelujah. I'm going to show you guys today. Because my brother, my immediate brother, the one who followed me, was going to introduce it to me. But there is some things my brother sent to me on WhatsApp. I'm going to show you guys on the screen that these people, they are liars. Yes. They are scammers. Yes. Never buy into those nonsense. But before I show you guys that is this man of God from Nigeria, I want you guys to Listen, Hallelujah. listen, Amen. listen, please. Let the spirit of the Lord speak to you. I am called of God and I will fulfill my call. I didn't hear an amen like thunder. Please sit let me talk to you. Somebody says, if you leave me, you lose your ministry. It's a lie. All those preachers that like to threaten people, it's a lie. It's fraud. It's a scam. Afternoon scam. It's not because you came to me that you have a ministry. It's because you came to Christ. You may leave me, but you didn't leave Christ. Did you hear that? Yes. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. They are all scammers. Yes. Look at the book of Cor I mean, Colossians 2, 8, the one I read earlier. Yes. Don't let anyone capture you capture with you. empty philosophies. Yes. I should do it under your mm. uh, canopy. I should do it under your spiritual covering or whatever. That if I leave, things will go wrong, wrong. for me. A man who imagine the man who we left in this um, December stroke January mm. who say, who said that uh, he want to put us in uh, under a spiritual covering. At the, if someone uh, if someone leave as in if you leave things will mm. go wrong. Your business will go down everything. Look at the screen. Look at the evidence. Look, Look at, at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. This, is the, same this is the message he sent mm. to my brother. After we have left in January, we caught. In fact, I blocked him. I blocked him in a two, two number. Look at the WhatsApp message he sent to my brother. Asking for money in some few months. He has become broke. Just imagine. Have you seen the message? Look at if I if I well look at that message uh, message very well you can see my brother have deleted his his, his number his name is not show his I'm don't need to mention his name but I don't need to make him yeah, famous yeah we don't here. need yeah you see <laughs> I'm showing you guys this thing not for mocking anybody mm -hmm. but to make you people stronger to, to be stand wise. To stand be wise. please stand don't mm -hmm. be afraid of these scammers don't be afraid even though you will see a real man of God who are God really called. 
the one who I even respect so much, I have started joining all this demonic doctrine. It's so, it's so, it's so heartbreaking. Yeah. As in, if I leave your grace, if I leave, you believe that I'm dwelling under your grace. Where is it written in the Bible? I should dwell under the grace of um, human being. Paul told me in the book of Acts that uh, we are just a mere mm. man. Apostle Peter said, mm. all this miracle we are doing, mm. you guys not, don't see it as a, a something, mm. oh, we are the one doing it. The same it's Jesus, you, the same Jesus, the same Jesus, you, you guys crucify is the one behind all this thing. And then you see all they do now, all our ministers, they don't want to take the glory to Jesus. They want to put themselves and replace God in people's life and put fear on people. So we are here and back here on this journey to tell you guys, don't fear these people. Any man that will utter it out, that you should dwell under your, their grace, please run with speed. This is the reason why I return back here, to show you guys so this you're evidence. Going to share. Yeah. So, you're going to share the powerful man of God. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. the, yes, yes, yes. To the end, yes. so that people will not think that we are, we are just coming here mm. to talk our own things. Uh. Subscribe. If it's your first time on this channel, mm. kindly subscribe, subscribe, mm. and press the notification bell so that you know when you I'm live. Mm. And also like, 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 mm. drop a comment and yeah. also share with your friends and yes, family yes, and be yes, blessed. Family. And be blessed with the remaining message. Yes. Listen to it Listen and share this video. Share this video to deliver your family, Amen. your friends Amen. from Amen. from all this manipulation from the, yes. from, from 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 the. The, the, the pit of hell yes. yeah please share this video share this video subscribe 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 Amen. don't forget i'm follow austin from gracious record you can check out my channel you'll be blessed with saxophone music and music production may the lord bless you so much and so much amen yeah. amen. Shalom. amen the lord began to talk to me about something that he called the spirit of witchcraft in the body of christ Hallelujah. And hear me, whenever you hear witchcraft, for many of us, the first thing you think about is occult, drinking blood and eating someone's flesh. Hallelujah. The word witchcraft means to cause a man to err using the tool of deception. Paul uses this language for Christians, the ones he got them born again. So you can be sure their salvation was true. But he said, all foolish Galatians who used a teaching to bewitch you. Hallelujah. And the Lord began to speak to me about the rampant manifestation of what he calls the spirit of witchcraft. Manifesting on our pulpits. Manifesting in the life of ministers. Genuine ministers. I'm not talking of false ministers. And many do not even know that they have become entangled with the manifestation and the spirit of witchcraft, of manipulation and control. And is spreading like wildfire in the name of mentorship and fatherhood. Many people have received spirits and demons and manifestations of things they cannot account for and explain. And all the so-called prophets who call themselves oracles, whose revelation stops in the second heavens, where the spiritual wickedness operates, they receive every kind of demonic manifestation and call it the words from God. The Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, according to God's word, no man was supposed to dominate another man. Are you listening to me? This is the first manifestation of this spirit of witchcraft that is happening in the body. And guess who the distributors are? The pastors themselves. There has been a, a manifestation of manipulating people in the body of Christ. And ministers rob people of the freedom that God has given them to love God. All in the name of pastor, all in the name of father, all in the name of mentor, all in the name of whatever. And they force people to do things. Right now, the average Christian is in bondage. It's called Christian slavery. Hallelujah. 
our churches have become prison centers for people. Families have been brought under bondage, under yoke of oppression and manipulation that comes from so-called pastors. Parents cannot make decisions for their children until the pastor gives approval. There are many ministries whose account numbers, you people come to submit account numbers to people to be able to have track. It's called manipulation and witchcraft. Every man of God, pastor, prophet, apostle, think they have a right to do and undo with members. And we become semi-gods to members. An elderly man of over 50 years cannot travel until he tells his pastor. Pastors have literally replaced the place of the Holy Spirit in the life of people. They refuse people from making any decision. The spiritual level of the pastor is what he compels all the members to maintain that level. And if for any reason they are attempting to rise, he creates a system that strangles them and brings them back. All oh, foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? There are many people, some of you are here seated, your pastors have stopped you. There are many of you, this meeting you are coming, you are even coming secretly. Because the day your pastors or your, your mentor or your, your God or whatever you call them, know that you are coming. They say, so are my teachings not enough to build you? Witchcraft, demonic teachings that are being taught in church as a result of the insecurity that ministers feel. So they try to create teachings that can accommodate their witness in fear of losing members. And so the man does not want to grow. He does not want to know God. He does not want to press into God. And when the wind of the spirit is carrying as many who are interested, he begins to bring all kinds of so-called prophetic teachings. Prophets and apostles have become semi-gods right now. They have the power to free you, take you to heaven, take you to hell, do any kind of thing. The Bible says there is no name given on man. Which any man can be saved. People are manipulated. All kinds of rubbish prophetic word. If you sow this. If you do this. Isaiah 33 verse 5. Sow 33 Nara 5 Kobo. Witchcraft. Hallelujah. And then we carry every kind of message. And try to balance and adjust it. We patch here and patch here with one scripture and take the B part of one verse and join with the C part of another verse to make sense according to what we want. And many of you are always in a hurry. Oh, lay hands on me. Papa, lay hands. Mama, lay hands. You better know what kind of hand you bring your head under. Otherwise, you will step into many of you. It was when certain hands were laid on you. You suddenly saw some things happening in your life. Until today, you are suffering innocently. 